anti-Afro Svengali's, you see the title of the video, give me your AFW emails or else. AFW, of course, means anti-fraud warriors. And several of you have been sending me messages that you have received these threats over the last, like, what, two months or so? If this is something that concerns you, I'm coming on here to let you know straight away, contact the FBI, check in with them by phone and see what they say about this. Because I did speak to a police officer about this. We're talking about there was another issue going on and I mentioned this. This is something actually that I intended to bring up to one of the detectives. But there were so many other things going on when the tech was working with the Rev G case. But since this has come up recently, again, I'm getting more people sending me messages. I did ask a police officer about this and he stated this absolutely appears to have some sort of extortion element about it. Since there were different messages involved, different things were being said, by all means, call the FBI Internet Crime Center, the links and phone numbers you see here on the screen. And this is just one phone number out of Detroit. But any number that you call at any field office, I believe those are all routing to the main FBI headquarters. This is something that I intended to bring up to one of the detectives. But there were so many other things going on. But since this has come up recently, again, I'm getting more people sending me messages. I did ask a police officer about this. There are other options. If you would like to get access to those options, I would invite you to probably better to send me a DM by Twitter, or you can send me an email. Now this is a stock email address. And once you send me an email, I'm gonna determine at that point what I'm gonna do with the information, or even if I'll respond. And I'll leave it at that for now. There's one thing that I think needs to definitely be addressed. Others trying to convince you that their reality is my reality and that this is no longer about Umar and this is the Umar Johnson sector and all this. Maybe for them, it's no longer about Umar. Maybe it never was. As a matter of fact, that's been a position that I've held for quite some time. We've had those discussions, internal AFW, so many people that are talking about Umar, trying to pretend they're talking about Umar, don't give a damn. I have stated it over and over. They could care less about Umar. They have other motives, other motives. For me, every single report that I have made, it doesn't matter who the person was that was making a threat or engaging in any illegal behavior. Umar Johnson's name was brought up front and center because they wanted to know what were the origins of this, right down to the sexually abusive language and accusations, Umar Johnson. Are you kidding me, people? For maybe them who are saying it's no longer about Umar and all this other crap coming up, that is what they are saying. This is a reason why I know people have been slamming me like you wouldn't believe behind the scenes. You're not putting my message up. People are sending me messages because I'm not getting involved with all that. That is what other people are doing. And people get very angry to the point where now they're making up even more bullshit about me. Let them make it up. I was scrutinized already. So whatever claims are being made about what I sent here, what Rev G sent there is bullshit. We were cleared as to our social media and our electronic activity. So how is it that the police didn't locate any of these claims that we supposedly sent this out and I've sent this picture here and I'm bashing this person there with these photos? Lies people, because the truth is just too boring for people like this. The plain simple truth about the abuse and the harassment, the sexual harassment that Rev G has suffered and me as well trying to punish me because I will not talk to people. And then since I won't talk to people, they're trying to find people who support me. So they're trying to punish them. It is a very disgusting, vile, sick cycle. And it elevated to criminal. 
did I commit the crimes? No. Did Rev G commit the crimes? No. It's those individuals who are now under scrutiny. So they're continuing to try to find diversions to take the heat off. If you've got to come on to social media, liquored up, trying to claim a victory, those people are already defeated and you're taking this seriously. I don't care what kind of illegal means anybody uses to make it appear that they have achieved a victory. Temporarily making it seem as though they have got someone. Okay, those things don't impress me. They don't scare me. They don't bother me. I'm going to just take it to the law. If you want to sit around and argue with drunk people, with people who have in their system infused God knows what to the point where they're not even making freaking sense. And you're going to sit there and argue with people like that. That's why I don't want those messages on this board. You can post messages, but I'm not drawing any of that here. If people are asking me for assistance about what has been done to them or what they feel is being done, I'm going to give you those referrals, but it's not going to be jumping in to a bunch of mess and always trying to put in my name and Rev G's name. We don't even, we don't even associate with those panels, people. How is our name coming up continuously? It's ridiculous. That just goes to show the effort to draw us out of what we consider priority, holding Umar accountable. And if other people decide they want to commit crimes on behalf of Umar, that's something they have to deal with. So utilize the resources if you are seeking assistance. When you get information, you can take time to review about what your options are. No one says you have to act immediately. See, that's what that's the thing. This sense of urgency because you see someone else acting the fool, drunk, jumping and hollering and screaming and threatening and claiming something. That means you have to take immediate action and do what? Look at your options. Unless someone is threatening your life, threatening your life, you do not have to take immediate reaction. You do not have to give an immediate response. In fact, you do not have to respond at all. That is the issue, people. People think, I have to immediately, I have to come back and say this. Says who? You can if you want, but you just get yourself drawn into all of this. Now, I have not even mentioned the stuff about give me your emails or else. When, two months ago, this was brought up? Why the hell am I addressing? I don't have to address that. It's not until I kept getting more and more messages and people were getting upset. And at this point, I feel, yes, okay, you're asking me to address it. I'm addressing it. I'm giving you options and I'm not discounting your feelings, but I don't give attention to madness, people. This is madness and it's in the lap of the law right now. If you want to make an impact, make the report. The more reports that go in, the more attention is placed on those engaged in illegal behavior. That's how you address an issue because it's beyond a community resolution, people. This is not going to be solved in the community. You have options. Ponder your options. Think about what you want to do. In the meantime, you know the drill. Fire, beware.